Yoon Sanha is a South Korean singer, songwriter, dancer, actor, and presenter who became popular for being a member of the Korean pop or K pop boy band Astro, managed by Fantasio Corp. Yoon Sanha was born on the 21st of March 2000 in Seoul, South Korea. His parents raised him and his older brothers, Yoon Ha and Yi Ha, in a modest Christian home. His mother was a beautiful bodybuilder when his father met her, and it took his father three attempts before his mother agreed on a date. One of his older brothers is serving in the military. Initially, San Ha dreamt of becoming a professional soccer player, playing as a midfielder when he was in the fourth grade. But he also developed a passion for music, influenced by his father and his brothers, as the males in the family loved to play the guitar while he was growing up. Eventually, he also learned to play it through their teachings. San Ha went to Seoul Gain Elementary School and Bakwan Middle School before matriculating from Hanlam Arts School. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. When the South Korean entertainment company Fantasio announced that it would be accepting new trainees, Sun Ha decided to try his luck and joined the 2013 I-Teen audition in Seoul. He sang Becoming Dust by Kim Kwang Seok for his test and passed and subsequently underwent rookie talent development program training, during which he took lessons for singing, dancing, acting, and songwriting. Two years into training, Fantasio informed the public that the K-pop boy group Astro had formed, and Sun Ha was included in the lineup. In August of 2015, they were asked to participate in a drama series entitled To Be Continued, with promising actors Kim Seron and Xiao Kang Jun. Six months after that, the group was given their own reality TV show, Astro OK Ready, aimed at letting the fans meet each of the members before the group's debut. The show ran for five episodes, aired on NBC, Everyone, Neighbor TV, and V Live from January to February 2016. After their television series ended, the group's first extended play, or EP, entitled Spring Up, was released on the 23rd of February, with the song Hide and Seek as the lead track. Two days later, Sun Ha, along with Cha Eun Woo, Jin Jin, MJ, Moonbin and Rocky made their debut showcase on Mnet's M Countdown, performing the lead track as well as the second single, Cat's Eye. The EP charted well both locally and internationally, peaking at number four on South Korean Gaon album chart and number six on Billboard World Albums chart within a week of its release. Following the positive sales results of the first EP, Fantasio decided to release a follow-up EP entitled Summer Vibes on the 1st of July 2016, which peaked at number 6 position on the Billboard World Album Chart. The lead track entitled Breathless entered the Billboard World Digital Song Sales Chart, peaking at number 21 for the official music video MV of the song. They collaborated with Choi Yu Chung, a Weki Meki member and a label mate. In the same month, Astro was chosen to be a part of the artist's lineup in the annual Korean concert in Los Angeles, more popularly known as KCON LA 2016, held at the Staples Center. A month after that, Sun Ha and the boys held the group's first concert at the Kepco Arts Center in Seoul, as well as live events in Indonesia, Japan, and Thailand. Before the year ended, Sun Ha and the boys released their third EP entitled Autumn Play, which has two versions, along with the lead single, Confession. It has an audio message entitled Confession Talk, given by the members. In the red version, only the members Sun Ha, NJ, and Moonbim are heard speaking, while Eun Woo, Jin Jin, and Rocky featured in the orange version. The EP peaked at number 6 on Gaian Album Chart and number 15 on Billboard World Album Chart. Astro launched its concept EP series in 2017 entitled Winter Dream, with the first EP released on the 22nd of February. The song entitled Should Have Held On Again was chosen as the lead track, but no promotional activities were undertaken by the group on music shows. The record label said that the group decided to just perform the new songs in live concerts, but it still peaked at number two on the Gaian album chart. After three months, the next EP, Dream Part 1, with eight tracks was released, with the lead song, Baby. Unlike the first EP, the group carried out a full schedule of promotional activities 
including the release of an official MV of the song, which garnered almost 20 million views. The group also performed in popular music shows including Mnet's M Countdown, NBC's Music Core, SBS's Inca Gayo, and KBS's Music Bank, and the EP subsequently topped the Guyan album chart and peaked at number six on the Billboard World Album Chart. Astro embarked on their first concert tour series, The First Astroed, starting in Seoul, followed by a series of shows in Japan's key cities, including Osaka and Tokyo, from July to August. And before 2017 ended, the group released their third part of the Dream Concept EP series, entitled Dream Part 2, with the lead track Crazy Sexy Cool. Sales slightly dipped, and it only peaked at number two on the Guyan album chart and number five on Billboard World album chart, but the MV garnered 22 million views. They also performed in several more popular music shows around South Korea. Sun Ha and his group started 2018 right by meeting their fans globally through the Globe Meet and Greet Tour. The event was launched in Seoul, and then the group went to several other countries, including Canada, Japan, Thailand, and the US. They also released a limited edition of their last Dream EP series, calling it Dream Part 2 Wish. They included a poem written by Unwoo, whose popularity as an actor was steadily rising, along with never-before-seen Polaroid photos and a hidden thank you note. The marketing strategy worked, as they attracted around 10,000 pre-orders for the EP. However, an internal power struggle happening at Fantasio Corp, which halted activities of all artists being managed by the company. The CEO was removed from his position by a major Chinese investor, and he was arrested for alleged fraud and other legal complaints. For a time, Fantasio was questioned if they were operating without top executives, which would be a direct violation of certain laws in South Korea. During the time the company went under investigation, Astro went on an eight-month-long hiatus. It was unfortunate that before the company problems occurred, they were able to release another EP entitled Rise Up, with the lead track Always You, but was unable to promote it due to the corporate power struggle. The only good thing that happened to the group at that time was that they were able to continue with their scheduled Japan concert tour entitled Astro 2 in Japan for the month of August through several Japanese cities including Osaka, Nagoya, and Tokyo. After Fantasio's reorganization, the group's hiatus ended, and they immediately released their first full-length album entitled All Light on the 16th of January 2019, with 10 songs, including the lead track All Night. The group's fandom called Aroa, which stands for Astro Hearts, supported the comeback as the album topped the Guyan album chart, peaked at number 6 on the Billboard World album chart, and reached number 11 on the Japanese Oricon chart. The lead single gave the group their first music show win from SBS's MTV music show, The Show. A music show win is considered a milestone for every K-pop artist, as the top three songs in South Korea compete for the number one song of the week, making it one of the parameters in determining popularity on the local music scene. To show their gratitude to the fans around the world who supported them, the group embarked on a concert tour entitled The Second Astro Tour, performing in key cities in Asia and North America. Due to the positive sales they had in Japan with their first full-length album, they released a Japanese EP entitled Venus. It has three Japanese versions of their major hits Baby, Always You, and All Night, along with three original Japanese songs. The EP peaked at number two on the Oricon Daily Album Chart. Everything seemed to be going great for the group, until Moonbin, one of Sanha's co-members and close friends in the group, was ordered by doctors to take a break due to health issues. During Moonbin's temporary hiatus from the group, Sanha was given additional lines in the songs they performed, including those from their sixth EP, Blue Flame, which was released on the 12th of November, 2019. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, some of the group's activities were delayed, but some were pushed through depending on South Korean promotional restrictions. To celebrate the group's fourth anniversary, on the 23rd of February, 2020, a special single album was released entitled one and only. It peaked at number four on Guyan album chart and sold around 30,000 copies in March. Two months later, the group released its seventh EP, Gateway. With the lead song, Knock, they were able to promote it in several music shows, but without a live audience as the government prohibited mass gathering. The song led to the group's second music show win from Show Champion. To maintain proper social distancing, 
the group decided to hold an online concert, 2020 Astro Live on WWW, to accommodate their fans' request for more performances. It was in time for the digital release of the group's new song, No I Don't, and the fans were treated to the first performance of it. Just this August 2020, Fantasio announced that Sanha and Moonbin formed a subunit and would release an album this September. Not much information can be found about K-pop artists' personal lives, as they are quite private about it. It is also a normal practice in South Korea to include a no-dating clause in their contracts with entertainment companies, which they are bound to follow for the first three to five years after debut. Sanha is believed to still be single and living in the company dormitory along with Rocky and MJ. If given the chance, he would like to date a girl version of himself, someone who would think about him all day. Some hobbies, favorites, rumors, and interesting things about Sanha include that his nickname is Beagle, and he is the youngest member of the group. The group's name Astro means star, which Fantasio Corp felt would best describe the future of six shining artists. If he hadn't passed the audition, Sanha believes that he would have become a professional guitarist. Because of his short height during the training period, he almost wasn't considered to be part of the group, but he had a growth spurt and eventually became a six-footer. He admires the group Busker Busker and considers them his role models. When he feels lonely or frustrated, he watches cat videos to lift his mood. He would one day want to own a cat, but with his current situation, he feels it wouldn't be able to properly be taken care of. Physically, Sanha is six feet or 1.84 meters tall, weighs 150 pounds or 68 kilograms, and has a lean build. His natural hair color is black, but he would often be seen in a variety of hair colors during promotional activities. He has black eyes, but would sometimes use colored contact lenses, depending on the group's album concepts during photo shoots and MV filming. According to sources, Yoon Sanha has an estimated net worth of close to $1 million as of August 2020. Quite impressive for a young man of just 20 years of age. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.